Winston Rodney, well known as Burning Spear, is a legendary musician, a living legend in the world of reggae, a two-time Grammy winner. He hails from the vibrant heart of Jamaica. Burning Spear spent decades spreading messages of peace, resistance, and unity through his powerful voice, soulful lyrics, and unforgettable rhythms. As a roots reggae singer, songwriter, and musician, Benning Spear is a Rastafarian and one of the most influential and long-standing roots artists to emerge from the 1970s. He has become an iconic figure, blending his deep Rastafarian beliefs with music that stirs the soul and ignites the spirit of freedom across generations. Ladies and gentlemen, let's make welcome Mr. Benning Spear. Welcome to Zambia. Yeah. Thank you. Um, let me tell you a bit about me, I think you've been told a lot about other people that you're meeting. So I got introduced to your music uh, from my older brother. He was a proper Rastafarian, only without dreads because my dad wouldn't have that. But he loved his reggae. And also had a late brother also, a late cousin called Gift. And the songs that I really liked are Identity. That, that I think resonated with me. I think that it, it really speaks to what as Africans we should become. We should be proud of who we are. So that one I really liked. But also Make We Do It is a fun song for me. I know that you've got a host of songs and um, I think uh, you've got a huge following as well. But just to say that um, Zambia, believe me, is one of those that really uh, has resonated with your music and I'll tell you one of the reasons and uh, you're going to meet some of the gentlemen that have made sure that your, your music and reggae in particular keeps burning in uh, to, f to, f to borrow your name in Zambia and that is uh, 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 Michael Zulu and Jack Benning Youth. You'll be meeting them. I'm sure you met them already but you'll be meeting them again here on the set. But let's get let's get with you um, uh, quickly just find out a bit about your childhood you know uh, because I'm wondering whether, as you were growing up, uh, you were wanting to be a, a, a musician, or what was your, 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 your earlier childhood like? I, I wasn't thinking about music, mm. and I, I wasn't like thinking that sometime I will be a musician, okay. a, a artist, a singer, you know, I, I wasn't trying to sing, you know, and maybe if somebody did ask me if I want to sing, I would say no. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it just happened. You know, I, I, I think it was a day for I to be who I is today. Mm -hmm. And uh, after I realized that it was a day, I gave in to it and uh, start to do it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, my first song, it came to me when I was on the beach, you <laughs> know, uh, once called Key Lago Beach in, in my town. Mm -hmm. And uh, I find myself just playing, playing, I used to do renovating, take clean clothes and stuff like that, so by doing my work, <laughs> here comes the vibes, mm -hmm. you know, and the first song were called Door Peep. You know, okay. and uh, after having this song and not doing anything with it, I, uh, I decided to go in the opposite part of the parish of Senton, where Iman is from, Marcus Garvey is from, and Bob Marley mm -hmm. is from. So I met Bob. Uh, let's talk about that, though. <laughs> yeah, from reasoning to reasoning, you know, I, I asked Bob, oh, oh, can I get started in the music business? Mm. And uh, Bob replied and asked me how much I know Kingstown. So I, I said, not that much. And Bob said, go to 
13 Brentford Road and tell Mr. Dad, I send you. <laughs> and I follow Bob instruction, and I been there. But uh, had, had he listened to your music at the time you were talking to him? Did he listen to your music? Who, Bob? Yeah. No, Bob didn't listen to anything. Uh, Bob was going to his cultivation, mm. and we were in the area, you know. So I, I went to Studio One like on a Sunday, and I sing my song, Do a Peep Shall Not Enter This Holy Land. Mr. Dad told me to come back on a Monday. Mm. And I went back on the Monday, and I record the song. And that's how everything gets started yeah. with Burning Spear. Yeah. Okay, all right. Now um, your music is is, is uh, well, maybe just to put it political. You you seem to uh, to sing a lot about Africa, about uh, you know wanting people to be liberated. Mm -hmm. uh, how was that engraved in you? I, I know that you 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 also followed Marcus Garvey. I, I'm not sure if my works is political. Mm. My works is all about the people. Mm. And uh, when I open my mouth and I sing my song, I'm not singing for me. I'm singing for the people. Mm. So it's what came to I, I, I present to the people. Of course, some people might see it as a political approach mm. or a political song or music or whatsoever. But my works is all about the people. Mm. And the people come first in everything. Yeah. Uh, maybe some leaders or people don't think that the people should be first. I present the people first mm. through my music. For without the people, there will be no leaders. True. For the people came whosoever as a leader, as a leader, for that's the people. Of course, many leaders don't care about the people, no disrespect, even though the people cause them to be who they is. Mm. You know, so this is my direction from beginning until this time. What I do is all about the people, for it's one people. Mm. It, you know, it, I sing the song, one people, it go back to the tour, the tour called One People. Mm you know, 2024. So these are the things what I really present, or these are the things what um, um, these, uh, what I sing, um, um, that, that, that's me. You know, that's me. So I couldn't be nothing else away from what I hear through the music. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like I will be singing song, and the song I will be singing it's not for special people mm. or individual people, but then again, the truth come within the song. Yeah. You know, is 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 like I would say, one people. You know, one people is universal. Mm. You know, so within my works, presenting the music to the people. I, I see Africa as uh, one of the, the, the biggest thing with, with throughout my music. I would say one Africa, Mama, mm. originally is one Africa. So let's not look on East, West, North, or South Africa and look at it as a separation. It's not no separation, it's one. Mm. And it carried me back to the first time Africa was invaded, which n at that time, none of us wasn't born at that time, you know. And from that time when Africa was invaded, that's when we start to feel our pain. So what I'm saying, if Africa didn't invade, we would not feel in any pain, mm. you know. So. That's the way it is with burning spear, singing or, or, or creating a song. It's all about the people. It's like I would say, don't look back on your losses, Africa. Mm. Don't look back now. 
Only if we come together, we can gain mm. more than what we lost. For Africa been lost in a lot over the past years. And Africa been through various leaders, yeah. you know. And today, I am pleased and I, I am proud to see Africa still standing strong. And the strength of Africa today is the up and coming generation for they coming up to set a strong foundation. So many things that take place many hundred years ago, it's their duty to make sure that will never happen again in Africa. We, we, we tend to hear a lot of Marcus Garvey being talked about in, 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 in reggae music especially, and I know that you've, you've got a song to that effect. Um, what, 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 what was his role for those that might not understand? Why, why is he very important? You know, Marcus Garvey? Yeah. He's the original teacher. Mm. Marcus Garvey speak about Africa possible more than Africa speak about Africa. <laughs> <laughs> it's a serious thing. Yeah. When Marcus Garvey spread the words about Africa, Marcus Garvey opened our knowledge about Africa. Marcus Garvey tell us about Africa. Mm. So Marcus Garvey is 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 just is more than the name Marcus Garvey. Look at his works, mm. what he have done. Well, remember, you know, Marcus Garvey said, we declare to the world Africa must be free. Maybe in Africa, no one not seen that. Mm. Maybe in Africa, no one not saying Africa, declare to the world that Africa must be free. But outside Africa, here comes Marcus Garvey as a Jamaican, mm. African Jamaican. So he opened his mouth and he say, he say, he say today, still live until from that time until this time, yeah. for his words come to pass in all different ways and form. Marcus Garvey words come to pass. All right. Um, which are some of the artists that you, the, the big icons like Peter Tosh and them? Just give us a bit of those that you've worked with, maybe shared a stage with, as 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 um, as Benning Spear. Who have you worked with? Uh, and uh, what I noticed, though, for, for reggae artists, uh, at least with you, and I listen to most of your songs, you don't do these features, do you, as, as, as a reggae artist, where you're featuring another artist on your song? You, you don't do that much? No, I don't do that. You don't do that, no, okay. No. <laughs> so, but who have you worked with, you know, uh, some of the big names that we know? I, I work with various artists, mm. you know, when it come to toward us when we really meet uh, each yeah. other. Yeah. You know, and uh, to name the kind of artists or the amount of artists I really share stage with, mm -hmm. it's a lot. It's a whole lot. You know, it's a lot. And this, this is how it goes. We all share the stage together. Mm -hmm. You know, some artists don't really reach the distance where they can tour when some reach it. So we work together. We, we, we share stage. We do a lot of things musically together. Mm -hmm. But let's not forget my beginning is true Bob. That's where Burning Spear gets started from. For if it wasn't for Bob, possibly I wouldn't be here reasoning with you today. <laughs> Very true. Wh where did you, how did you come up with the name Burning Spear? And why? The name Burning Spear is coming from way back. Mm. I was living in City Kingston, industrial terrace off Spanish Town Road. Mm. And there was this man called Naya. And now I will heard I'm on singing, 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 just singing out. Yeah. And I remember Naya came up to Iman and said, You sound like Burning Spear. I said, I sound like Burning Spear. And I said, Who is Burning Spear? Mm. He told me that Joma Kenyatta. Oh. He's Burning Spear. So he said, He think a name like that would really fit me basing up on the songs what I am singing mm. and I said Joe McKenniata and I said I never heard of Joe McKenniata and then he started to tell me the story Joe McKenniata is from Kenya mm. the first Republican president so the English they dominate Kenya mm. 
So he rise up and get rid of the English. And not only getting rid of the English, he removed all the trees what were planted by the English. Whoa. And plant his fresh tree. He turned the soil over and plant fresh grass. Wow. So showing the English that he's in control of Kenya. Mm. But let's not forget, you know, Africa was dominated by various kind of yeah. people. Yeah. You know, way before us. So that's where the name coming from, Burning Spear, is coming from Kenya through Jomo Kenyatta as the first republic, first republic and president for Kenya. Yeah. That's where the name is coming from. Okay. Now you have had an incredible, you've had an incredible recognition through two Grammy uh, uh, awards that you've mm -hmm. gotten. What did that, uh, did those awards mean to you personally and how did they uh, affect you professionally? Maybe the trajectory of your career, how did it change, if anything, because of the Grammys? Did that do anything different for you? Well, the Grammy basing upon your works, mm. you know, that's why you have judges and people who vote, you know. So at some time, they thought the best album as the first time winning a Grammy, they thought the best album was my album. Mm. The second time was the same thing. Mm. They thought my album was the best album. You know, so I ended up winning two Grammy. Mm. But you've been nominated numerous times as well. Yeah, so I've, really been, been I've been nominated a lot of times, yeah. you know. As an artist and you nominated, you still have to give thanks even though you don't yeah, win. Yeah. You know, at it's least important. you're nominated. Yeah. You're in the park. Yes. You know. So, and it's go on and on and on and on. Speaking of going on and on, though, you did take a break. You did retire at some point. Oh, what yeah. was happening that time? Oh, yeah. What, what, what really happened after working, going back and forth on the road for so many years, uh, my wife think the time was right to to come off the road, mm -hmm. come home, mm -hmm. you know. And I, you know, I take a good look at it and I think she were right. Mm -hmm. And after being home and they are not doing anything musically like touring, but mm -hmm. still active, going back and forth into the studio. Mm -hmm. I always creating music, so that's what I hear, it's music. Mm -hmm. So even when I'm not touring, um, I'm, I'm working on music. Mm. So she think the time was right to stop. And then she came back also and said, maybe I should go out there and do a little show here and there. Mm. You know, <laughs> uh, so between my wife and my sister-in-law, Marcy, she's out there. Mm. They say they think the time is right to, to come back. back. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I came back for the people. Yeah. So by coming back for the people, this is where it bring me. Yes, I've been to Africa, you know, a few times. Yeah. But it, it wasn't so spread out. It yeah. was like, you know, a few places and then back home. So when my sister-in-law said to me, maybe we should go Africa, not for one show or two show, but go to Africa and go different places through Africa. So I listened to them and I came. So coming back on the road is between my wife and my sister-in-law. Okay, no, and we're happy they did because now you're in Zambia. Otherwise we'd never have watched you. You're right. Yeah, yeah. But working with your, your wife though, um, how has it been though? Uh, most people um, have a problem working with the wife mm -hmm. you know for every every uh, for, for these works that you do like tours that you do i only know very few like in, in zambia there's a uh, michael zulu one of the guys that uh, gentleman you meet he works a lot with his, with his wife uh that puts her sister d mm -hmm. so you uh work with your wife your wife manages you mm -hmm. how has that been how has that helped you as well oh good mm. but, you know it we, we we kept it in the family yeah you know it's it's like some time ago I will be working for different people and it would be ups and downs. Yeah. And uh, things wouldn't be taken care of the way it should. You know, and when, when she came in and we start to work together, you know, by honing what we hone as we, it was great. It was 
things was more easier than working for agent. Mm. You know, for when working for agent, it's too much ups and downs. But we work as a family and we work as one. So we have all the proper understanding about everything. How yeah. to go about, do this and do that, and how to say yes from not saying no. You know, so working with my wife, without my wife, possibly I wouldn't be here today. Mm. True, true. Um, you've been everywhere, you've been around the world. Mm -hmm. But just, just give us some of the highlights maybe that, that you, come to you to say, you know what, when I was in this place, when I was in Amsterdam, when I was in Zimbabwe, <laughs> just, just, just as when you sit down with your wife at times, you're just talking, which, which, which uh, live concerts come to mind, to, to mind most of the time? Because <laughs> I know Zambia will, but I, before Zambia. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's so much. It's it hard for a high man to say this one or this one or mm -hmm. that one. You know, it, uh, it's a lot. Yeah. And, uh, it's a lot of ups and downs when you're on the road, yeah. you know, and yeah. uh, something you would expect would happen and it just don't happen. Mm. And expectation is a hell of a thing, mm. you know. But regardless, ev everything went good. And what happened, it was a day to happen. Maybe if these things didn't happen, I wouldn't be here today. Mm. So it's an experience, you know. <laughs> I like how you just seemingly ap accept whatever happens. Because yeah, <laughs> <you know>. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, now let's talk about some of your songs, though. I, I know artists, I, I've spo spoken to a lot of artists, and they always say, when I ask them which one is your favorite song, for instance, or which one means a lot than the other. They were always like, oh, these are all my babies, so I don't have a favorite. But, but, but what about you, though? Uh, or what is the people's favorite, if not your favorite? Which one do you sing last? Which one do you introduce yourself with? How does that work? You, you, you just speak the word. You know, I don't have a favorite, to be honest <laughs> ah, with you. There you go. <laughs> you know, but I, 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 I'm the singer. Mm. Do I have a favorite? Many times I question myself mm. and ask myself if I have a favorite. And I just can't see. <laughs> and I, you know, but it is no favorite in my works. My my works is all about the people. Mm. So I'm not going to break it down and say this is favorite that is not favorite. If we're going to speak about favorite, then everything is favorite. Mm. Okay. The key is that you're working for the people, and you're going to be working for different people in different country at different time. Mm. Okay, all right. Let's 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 talk about um, wait, as you're traveling though. Do you do you, do you do you do a research? For instance, like you're coming to Zambia, which song are they are they is, are Zambians more excited about, or how has it been as as you as you tour? You just go in with your own lineup and perform because you've got too many songs. So I'm thinking, how do you pick which ones you're going to sing where? No, I don't pick a song where I'm going to be singing the song. Mm. The song I sing here. I will be singing the same song over there. Mm. But there's a lot of song, as you say. Yeah. So sometimes you might not get the time to sing all the song. Yeah. So you just go with the flow. You know, so by going with the flow, you never can tell. But there's a lot of song to be <laughs> sung. How many songs have you, have you written? Huh? How many songs do you have? Do you know? You, you mean Number of songs. To sing? No, yeah, no. no. Just the songs that you have. How uh, many songs like yeah, that? Yeah. Woo, that's a lot of songs. <laughs> Man, this is going to take me a long time to count. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> There's so many songs. Okay. You know, you have, remember it's from 1969, you know. Oh. It's a lot of songs. I, I, I myself, to be honest, I don't even remember some of my songs. <laughs> but it's so many songs, you know. Yeah. But nevertheless, you know, some good songs were written, yeah. Yeah. you know, and uh, when I write a song like um, One Africa, when I write a, a, a song like Slavery Days, when I write the song and sing the song Slavery Days, I shook the world universal, mm. but no one wasn't thinking a song like that could be written mm. or sing. Mm. Nobody, no, nobody throughout the whole world wasn't thinking a song like Slavery Days could be written and sing. S slavery Days? Mm. Who's going to sing about yeah. the years of slavery? Yeah. 
you know, maybe someone would scare or feel that something might happen bad to him by singing a song by the name of Slavery Days. So as I say, no one know that a song like that will be written and sing. When I did that song, I shook the world universal. Mm. Do you remember the days of slavery? That's big, that's oh, heavy. Yeah, that's big, yeah. But remember the days of slavery, so many things has taken place. But regardless the days of slavery, I, I, I came and I said, don't look back on your losses, Africa. Don't look back now. Only if we come together, we can gain more than what we lost. That's deep. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. The time we're going to take, look back. That's the time we're supposed to be moving forward. For no force is stronger than the people together. No force or no vice is stronger than the people together. If the people is not together, stay put. Mm. For together is strength, together is unity, together is a spiritual force where no one cannot interfere with. Mm. And if you don't got all these things, what I say together, don't do anything. Just sit back mm. and wait. But no force is stronger than the people together. Mm. Don't look back on your losses, Africa. Don't look back now. The loss is already gone. gone yeah. Yeah. So we need to come together so we can gain more than what we lost. True. You, you, said you, you look very fit. Huh? You look very fit. Okay, yeah. thank you. And, and you're well, you 79? Mm -hmm. Yeah. you very, very fit. So I wonder, uh, I'm wondering your diet, what do you do? Do you exercise? How do you keep the looking good? The fitness came from your, your mind. Mm. If your mind told you that you're not fit, then you're not fit. <laughs> I, I like used that. to be an <laughs> exercise freak. Yeah? Yeah. I would be running out 14 miles a day, three days a week. But now I'm going to be touring. That, that's, my, that's part of my exercise mm. early on. You know, 14 miles, three to four days a week. Wow. So I prepare myself to go on the road mm. and to work. Mm. So by doing all these exercises, possible that's why I look the way I is. Mm. I saw, I saw you once, um, uh, one, of, one of the concerts, they captured you going on stage, uh -huh. you know, like just the first time, like now they, they're calling on you to go on and you're there doing a bit of boxing, you know, just, uh -huh. uh, you know, shadow boxing as, you, as you, you're going up. So I'm thinking, okay, maybe he, mm -hmm. he loves to exercise. Yeah, when I was growing up, I, I used to go to this, this boxing place. I was young, mm -hmm. you know, and play around, you know. And uh, I, I, I didn't think I, I, I need to be a boxer, you know. But unfortunately, I, I used to go to the gym and, you know, do my exercise, you know, punching bag and, you know, and stuff like that. You know, lots of skipping and mm. soccer, ah. you know, and th th these are the things what kept me going from that time. I still juggle my ball. I still skip my rope. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> what about your diet, though? Is, is there anything diet? special that you, you I'm eat or I'm don't eat? I'm a very picky eater, sir. Ah, OK. <laughs> 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 to be honest with you, I'm a very picky eater, to mm. be honest. You know, I, when it comes to eat, I have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing you're, you're, you're on the road with the madam, so <laughs> she would know. <laughs> Okay, so, so you're very picky with your food. Yeah, yeah, to be honest. Uh, uh, I believe Rasta, uh, Rastas don't eat meat, red meat, I think. Is that, is that, a, is that a, a true thing? Is it something you follow? Is, mm -hmm. just, is it just yeah, the like, meat? You know, I, you know I, a lot of men or people don't eat certain food. Mm. You know, I, I'm a fish man. Ah, okay. You know, I, I, I love my fish and how the food, you know. Mm. But I will, once the fish is good, Mm. I will eat fish every day. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we, got, we got fish here called bream. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's called bream. You love that one. Uh, you, you, you think I will love that I one? I think you will. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'll come to your concert and I'll ask you whether you, you enjoyed the bream. Mm -hmm. Michael Zulu and Jack Benning Youth will make sure uh -huh. you, you test the bream. But it's very nice fish. That's, mm -hmm. that's our, our delicacy. Yeah. Okay, but you, again, that's another thing though. You've done all these concerts. One would think that um, you're making a lot of money. 
which I would say you are modestly making a lot of money, mm. but you you live a simple life. You you don't you're not flashy. You know you're not the original artist that will make sure they've got that new shoe that you know swag everywhere. What, what, um, and Rasta men like to live this way. What what is what is the reason for that? Why don't you want want to you know look posh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling overdressed already just sitting next to you like why did I even bother <laughs> <laughs> mm. you know I, I I never think in that way to look flashy or look dressy mm. I, I I just want to look like me <laughs> you know I don't want to look like me I can go places and you won't create no big excitement, <laughs> you know. I, I, I when it comes to garments, mm. I will just wear my sneakers, my trackers, my <laughs> t-shirt, my peak, and you know. Yeah. That, but then again, I, I, I can look different if no, I I've, want I've to. I've seen you though on stage. You, you, you do look different. You know, but still, I, you, you keep it simple. You just, yeah, you're not loud. Yeah, yeah. yeah t-shirt jeans shorts yeah. you know yeah I, I i can get dressed in my suit and stuff like that i got all these things yeah but i, I don't really fussy about it <laughs> you know even when i was younger I, I wasn't that kind of person who liked to look flashy and you know, they will say clean cut yeah you know i i i just want to look look like me but it's all about me mm. you know and once i can identify me you know, it's all right. You know, I, I, I don't want to look too different, isolate myself mm. material-wise. Or, you know, I, I, I don't need that, you know. Do, do you think, though, that um, as, as I, mean, I don't know if to say Africans, but do you think that we, we overly indulge where, you know, wanting to look good, spending so much time in what we look like as opposed to maybe what we are up here. Do you think there's, there's, there's a problem there or is it it's just a choice, a question of choice? No, it shouldn't be, be a problem. We're talking about dressing. Mm, yeah, once you, you know, driving I, Porsche cars and all that, big yeah, houses. Nah, you, you were surprised to see what I drive. You know, maybe I'm, people might think I'm driving this most expensive car and mm. stuff. You see burning sphere, maybe yeah. show for drip might no. I just drive a, a regular little car like everybody else, you know, sometimes. <laughs> I just walk, stretch my <laughs> leg, <laughs> you know. I, I don't believe in, in certain things, mm. you know, which in all these things we, we spoke about is, is, is a part of life. You know, you, people choose to look good, you know, and people choose to look flashy, you know, drive a fancy looking car and stuff like that. Um, I don't really look at it like that. You see, the most important thing to me in life, you go to your rest, you give thanks, you wake and see the next light, you give thanks again. That is very important. Okay. So by you doing that, a lot of good things can happen. Okay. Um, your music is deeply rooted in uh, Rastafarian principles, focusing on unity, peace, and spiritual upliftment. How did these values uh, influence um, you, for instance? You know, I know you sing to the people, mm -hmm. but and you sing for the people. Mm -hmm. But is it what is it you that is, is, are all these things an embodiment of who you are? For me, yeah. Are you are you one who believes in peace? you know, um, upliftment, just unity. These are things that you mm -hmm. so, so solely believe in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, th 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 those things you speak about, that's me. Yeah, I believe in that. You know, I, 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 a lot of people may be thinking about burning spear in a different way. Mm. But burning spear is just a simple, simple man. You know, Rastafari. I, I I don't see anything wearing caught my eye that I will come out of line or start to do something different or try to look different. I don't see anything to, to, to distract me mm. from be who I is and the way I should look. You know, the, the, I choose to look the way I look mm. and I choose to do the things what I do. As long as I'm doing the right thing, it's not a problem.
Okay, you know what? I'm writing down here. I like how you say who I is. <laughs> <laughs> it's not your regular uh, English, but you, you, you guys speak uh, in Jamaica, you speak what is called Patois, is it? Well, they call it Patois, mm. yeah, but when we speak, the whole world can understand us. Mm. So we, we speak in, in a way where everyone can understand. No, we do understand though, but it's yeah. just interesting and it's, it's yeah, if nice we, to listen. Uh, oh, oh, yes, is not different from your yes. Yeah. You know, it's the same, yes, but maybe you speak it in the in the African way. Mm. You maybe you say yes in the African language, where I I wouldn't understand that you're saying yes. Yeah. You know, but <laughs> it is what it is. Okay. Um. So Zambians are, are going to come out mm. for you. That I can assure you, because uh, mm. a lot of people follow reggae. A lot of people follow. Benning Spear. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what would you say to, to, to the fans that are going to come and watch you uh, perform? Because the first time in Zambia, yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The first time. Yeah. Well, they should be there. <laughs> the ones there is there. Yeah. They, they, they will heard what I got to say. Mm -hmm. You know, for what I got to say, I say it on the stage. Okay. You know, and uh, I ain't saying anything crazy. I'm saying something where the people need to hear, mm. you know? Well, when I hit the stage, I hit the stage for the people, and the people expect I to, 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 to deliver mm. to them, mm. and it's my duty, mm. you know, it's a job, it's a work, you know, I prepare myself not only f to work for some people, I prepare myself to work for all the people. The show is what I'm supposed to do, I prepare myself to do the show for the people. Mm. Why it's all about the people. Mm. Uh, without the people, I, I wouldn't be able to hit the stage. You know, so the people cause I man to be here, the people cause I man to hit the stage, the people cause I man to deliver to them as the people. All right, I'm, I'm going to introduce um, to my two colleagues now. Um, you, you met them, I think. Uh, they gave you a, a certain walking stick. Mm -hmm. Do you remember at the airport they gave you some? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, that is actually. I know Maiko Zulu, the one who gave you, was, uh, you know, feeling good about himself, but that's from our tribe, mm -hmm. you know, from the West. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what we use mm -hmm. to walk uh, in a dignified way. So really mm -hmm. happy that you have it and you're taking it all the way to Jamaica. Mm -hmm. But let's talk to Maiko Zulu. Just lean back a bit in, in your chair, and Maiko is right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maiko, you must have been excited, because <laughs> uh, I'll tell you one thing, Benning Spear, uh, Maiko Zulu there and uh, 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 Jack, Mm -hmm. Have been one of uh, have been uh, some of the artists that have kept the fire burning where reggae music is concerned, you know, for a very very long time. So for me, when I heard you were coming, I was actually happy for them because I'm like, oh wow, you know, the, the, now we are beginning to see the reason why they've always held on to 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 their roots by way of reggae. So yeah, so you know, excited for you, Michael. But tell me about you uh, meeting up with uh, Benning Spear. Well, I mean, it's, uh, it's both uh, exciting as an artist, mm -hmm. but more exciting spiritually. Okay. You know, because uh, all of you know that uh, Benning Spear is the greatest reggae musician alive today, mm. you know, no doubt. Mm. And uh, the Zambian reggae family, Rasta family, you know, could not have been where we are yeah. without... Uh, music of the likes of the burning spear mm -hmm. and uh, you know uh, coming when we are celebrating 60 years mm -hmm. of uh, political independence yes. it speaks a lot because burning spear music is about resistance yeah you know and uh, we'll be celebrating 60 years 60 years of yeah. resistance resilience you know mm. so it's a blessing for not just uh, Zambia, but for Africa. Yeah. I mean, the man is 79 years old mm -hmm. and doing what 24-year-olds are doing. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, know, know. So you must feel something as a Zambian okay. that uh, Burning Spear is in Zambia today. Mm -hmm. you know? So he brings unity, a sense of unity. And like his song says, you know, the music race is a political race, is a commercial race, mm. you know, but you don't change your identity and yeah. you know, that is why we are proud that <laughs> we, we've stuck to our identity yeah. and now you know we are vindicated yeah yeah and, and, and Benning Spear I'll tell you why for instance he says we're vindicated 
his music, there was a time that it was not playing on our radio stations yeah. because it was deemed political. <laughs> you know, but yes, uh, we've been through, uh, he's been through ups and downs as well, but uh, finally now his music can play, uh, at least most of it. Uh, but still now with social media, everybody can listen to his music. So yeah, um, good thing that you held on to it because like I was saying, with, with the coming of uh, Benning Spear, I think for most now we're saying, okay, this is what uh, these, our colleagues have been about, where music is concerned. But you gave him, uh, you know, you, you went to, meet to, to, to a welcoming bearing gifts. You had, a, you know, some walking stick of sorts. What was that about? Yeah, I mean, that is special because, I mean, a lot of uh, Rastafari brethren asked me if I could be amongst the welcoming party, you yeah. know. So uh, we thought it was just right that, you know, we honor. I mean, you Christians, when your pope comes over, <laughs> you have the biggest bishop, you know, bringing the biggest gift, Yeah. you know. So <laughs> for us, I mean, it's similar, you know. So yeah. we had to make sure that uh, we also share a bit of Zambia because yeah. it's also selling our tourism. Yes. Because that is a special a stick. It's mm. it's a spear stick. Mm. You know, it's not just a stick. Not so just a stick, yeah. It's deceiving you. You think, you know, this is an old man coming with a stick. <laughs> you know? And just like the spear, you know, a lot of people think the, the man is, uh, you know, 79, but, you know, when you see him on stage, yeah. you're shocked. I mean, just even... Uh, just the interaction. interaction you know what? You know. <laughs> but, but most important is the humility the man brings. Yeah. I think you and I know the industry. Just recently we had some, you know, other foreign artists. Yeah, coming. yeah. And you saw how they behave with our people. You know, how they disrespect our people. Yeah. And we haven't seen that from the spear. So mm. it, 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 it must tell you something that uh, reggae is king's music and that is why united nations have you know recognized reggae as mm. you know music for the world true and it cannot be music for the world without a burning spear mm. yeah okay now 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 jack uh let's talk to you uh very quickly as well you you used to be in a group well still still is in a in a, in a sense yeah. called burning youth and it was a huge group but uh, unfortunately, most of them, have, all, of, all, all of them except for you, have passed on. But you've still kept the fire burning, you know, by, by way of running still with burning youth. Um, this, for you, must be also uh, very touching for you, because I know that your whole group would have loved to meet this man here, because you were running with reggae, and this is the epitome of reggae uh, now. So, you know, just how, how do you feel uh, meeting... Uh, yeah, uh, first of all, I'm so excited and very happy to meet him. But mm -hmm. uh, as you said earlier on, that how I wish my friend was around. Yeah. Because we've been listening to his music, watching to his music, and grown up with in his music. So mm. for me to see him sitting up like this, yeah, uh, it's, it's just something good to me and yeah. my life. Yeah. Yeah, because it's, it's something that I, I, I was not, uh, you know, thinking about it. Mm. And uh, I was just called that you are part of this uh, Africa movement. So I, I, I was so excited and it's just a good thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, about, uh, another thing for, for me as a band, I'm so excited because it has tops up my, you know, my... my, my, my my, my music journey. Yeah, you yeah. Know, yeah. I have more hope now uh. because we've been uh, dreaming about him at one point, seeing him, watching him. But yeah. uh, here he is it's now. It's happening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. <laughs> it's something good to me and my band and my fans as well. This Definitely. is why we have come and I have come to support him mm -hmm. through uh, performing live music and to speak more in our songs yeah yeah so that a lot of people could hear how much respect and the uh, love that we we'll, we'll give to our father in you know he's my father now yeah <laughs> as i'm burning youth and he's burning, burning spear. Spear, so it's something good for me it's, it's like a, a, a prophecy has come to to, to pass, pass. You know? yeah so i have a story and this story will stay forever okay so i know burning uh, youth will be performing michael Zulu will be performing who else is performing guys Maybe, yeah. Is Raskinki? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Raskinki, Peter Bob, uh, Rasanada, mm. uh, uh, Rasmuch. Mm. Uh, yeah, Ayman as well is performing. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah. All right. So that's the some of the local acts that are performing. Okay. Yeah. Neg Negastafara, yeah, Rasanada. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Quite a quite a list there. Quite a, a long list. So yeah. You know, a lot of, a lot of uh, excitement, not just from the fans, but also from some people that will be sharing the stage with you. Um, you know, yeah, I know you, you meet a lot of people wherever you go, you, all these artists that are happy to see you. But how does that make you feel, you know, as, as, as a person who has, you know, been around and just did what you love and yet so much respect? You mean by seeing other artists, the, the talking about, it's mm. good. You know, for it, it, it's a work, you know. It, and uh, th this music spread itself all over. So therefore, you could have this bridge ring today, mm. talking about the music and talking about high, you know, talking about themselves, which is good, the people, mm. which, which is good. It, it, it's, it's a oneness, you know, it's a team. You know, it's like the, 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 the music is like a family. Mm. You know, we, we just have different arrangements, different lyrics, you know, different approach. Mm. But we are all doing the same thing. We are all musicians and singers and players of instrument. Yeah. <laughs> I like just how we just break it down. That's really nice. Okay, uh, uh, Bernie Spia, thank you very much for coming to Zambia on behalf of, of the Zambians and your management agreeing to come over. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think that... Um, you know, it's, it's really been, it's, it's really been uh, something that we've been looking forward to. Maybe not as much as our, my colleagues were in the industry, but the moment we heard that you were coming, ah, you, can, you, you won't believe how, if you just go to Google right now, your name is top notch in, in Zambia, because everybody now is trying to see, okay, I'm mm -hmm. going to sing there. I'm going to sing along to his music. Now, I know you forget your lyrics. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't believe that you forget a whole lot of them. But there are a lot of songs, so you might forget. Mm -hmm. You know, um, my, my, my favorite, my personal favorite mm -hmm. is Identity. Oh. Do, you, do you remember the lyrics to that one? Identity? Mm. They want I to change my identity? Yes. Of course. They are, yeah, come on. I, I can't forget my identity. Okay. <laughs> so so, so, so just, just, just give me a brief of, of, of the... Huh? Just uh, do you want I to change my identity? Just, just do it. Hey, Maiko, don't laugh at my voice, man. <laughs> just, so just, they just want I to change my identity. Musically, musically, musically. Musical. The people is for the music. The music is for the people. Musically, musically, musically. My identity, my identity, my identity. So they want I. Yes, they want I. So they want I to change my identity. Yeah. Musically, musically, musically. <laughs> <laughs> wow, man. <laughs> <laughs> wow, man, you've made my day. That's my song. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming through one more time. This, this is what, what you, you guys do, this? Uh, what I can say as the, the finishing yes, of please. this program mm -hmm. is that leaders of Africa, sir and madam, open your eyes as wide as you can so your people's eyes can be open too and they will be able to identify each other from a distant one Africa. Mama, from the first time Africa was invaded, that's when we all start to feel her pain. Well, thank you very much. And on that note, we'll see you again next time. This has been Innocent Kaluka, alongside, probably the last time I'm ever going to say this, Bering Spear. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, thanks, man. Thanks a lot. Son, who is that? Africans, Africans, Africans.